It's Wednesday, September 25th here in Seoul. I'm Oh jun Ju, and you're watching Korea Now. We start today with President Moon Jae-in's proposal to the United Nations. President Moon Jae-in has proposed to turn the demilitarized zone by sectioning the two Koreas into an international peace zone. During his keynote address to the UN General Assembly Tuesday, the South Korean leader shared his idea of designating the area connecting the truce village of Panmunjom inside the DMZ and Kaesong, a North Korean border town, as a peace and cooperation district. He also stressed that if UN offices and other international agencies related to peace, ecology and culture are located inside the DMZ, the area can become a center for research on peace, peacekeeping, arms control and trust building. The plan was also included in a joint declaration the two Koreas signed last April. U.S. President Donald Trump, meanwhile, during his U.N. address, called on North Korea to denuclearize in order to tap its tremendous economic potential. Former Big Bang member Seung Mi was questioned by police for the second time Tuesday over his alleged overseas gambling. He was interrogated as a suspect for nearly nine hours. When asked by reporters whether he admitted to accusations of habitual overseas gambling and illegally securing gambling funds, he didn't reply. Yang hyun Suk, the former CEO of Big Bang's representation YG Entertainment, was questioned over gambling allegations last month as well. Seung Mi and Yang are suspected to have spent some $1.7 million and $834,000 respectively on overseas gambling. Despite frayed relations between South Korea and Japan over trade and historical issues, Asia's biggest K-pop awards show, Mnet Asian Music Awards, or MAMA, will be held in Nagoya this year. Celebrating its 20th anniversary, MAMA is set to take place on December 4th at the 30,000-seat Nagoya Dome, according to the event organizer CJENM. Unlike the past two years, MAMA this year will be cut down into a single-day event amid ongoing pro-democracy protests in Hong Kong. Regarding the selection of Nagoya as its single destination this year, CJENM says it believes cultural and civilian exchanges should continue and be separated from political issues. And those were the top headlines for today. You can always check the full-length articles on our official website. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for your daily news feed.